Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 where uh, Miranda looks freaking bad and I love it and what are we doing today? It has been a while. What am I doing? Shepard, what are you doing? Nope. Nope. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, right, right. We got Kasumi, which I was not expecting, but that happened really quick. Um... Oh, where do I get the... Oh, Omega, okay. Sarah's... Oh, okay, I think I know where to get the brandy. Oh, and I have the special ingredients. Okay. Okay. And Krogan Sushi. But our main objective should be to go find freaking Anderson because... Oh, wait, I know. Okay, we'll just go... I'm like listening to the little conversations. Pick up a module. Let's see. Okay. Go and find the Presidium. Yes. Home of the Human Embassy. I don't know. I think I mentioned it before, but have you guys ever noticed that species names are never capitalized? I actually, when I did my thesis, senior thesis for my bachelor's degree last year, I had to have a discussion about that. That's one of the only times you see an Elko movie! This moving. meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander! We were just talking about you. Good to see you! Good time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. You look very We've not surprised. we surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are unsettling. Mm -hmm. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his geth. I don't have to answer. I don't have to, I don't have to say anything to you guys. You're not in charge of me. You're not my mom. I think this is what I did last time, because I was just like, what the heck? Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper Sovereign. Ah, yes, Reapers. Oh my gosh, you were Immortal there! Starships, allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Uh, so Shepard, frustrating. No one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you, but without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Yeah, freaking... Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil, or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional. Well, you, then you know it was a... Then you know it was there. Sovereign was not a Geth creation. What? The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. Your holograms This suck. is probably why Saren recruited them. I actually This really... Reaper theory proves it's just really... how fragile what? the mental state is. You have been manipulated. <laughs> Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. Oh my gosh. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He, he convinced he the Geth the Reapers were real. Most Geth just don't care about that! Him. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. Oh my god. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. Cape Town, Cairo. You're in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason, a capital offense. Oh, try. That's too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a specter. See, they've, they've obviously discussed this beforehand, because it's not just the Asari throwing it out there, you know? Like, the Turian guy is also saying stuff. What does that mean? Well, I need to start filing reports. <laughs> 
that won't be necessary. <laughs> this is a show of good faith on our part. Oh, really? We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. Whole but colonies. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. Whole entire colonies. Okay, but they still support me personally, but they think my, my mental state's fragile. This doesn't... Blah, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Maybe if you'd help me, I didn't. I wouldn't have to work for Cerberus. Well, and I have two Cerberus agents right you next to me. The Anderson. council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Yeah. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True exactly. Enough. Don't worry about the council or the alliance. I'll find some way to keep. I'm them sorry, off. Anderson. Shouldn't be too hard, as long as you keep to the terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about Shepard. What are you doing What's here? What's wrong with your eyeballs, man? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the council. We just finished our meeting. You what? You what? Consulate, do the words political shitstorm <laughs> mean anything to you? The council reinstated my specter status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works if best Dina's not an both idiot. sides. But He's just a jerk. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Dina. <laughs> Why don't you go to your office and think about that? <laughs> go to your room. Of course, counsel. Oh, but he's Good he's smooth. To both of you. He's Udina smooth. He knows. Sorry about that. Udina's has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udina's just doing his job. Yeah. True enough. He's got his uses, and if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus. He's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. I'm sorry, Anderson. Uh... How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still Look at counting. it, it's gorgeous. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. That's nice. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Yeah, they're basically symbiotic with the Citadel itself now. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos. With who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of uh, unauthorized keepers salvage, would do it too, yeah. There's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign wants. Yeah, because the technology is in who knows whose hands. Everything's still working over there, computer? Good. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeyman they used to be. And the big burning question. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Alenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Alenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. And you can't tell me I what can't it is. say anymore. Not while you're working with Cerberus. And I'm that's sorry. the kicker. How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Politics, am I right? Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Man, I don't even know, like, what would happen. I, I, someday I should put a, put um, Udina on the council and just see, like, how this would be different. Like, would I meet Anderson elsewhere? And, like, would he be an admiral or just still a captain? I don't know. Forget Udina and the council. 
Join my crew and help me stop the collectors. I'm too old to go racing. And Anderson the would be in charge. Much I couldn't. I, complain, I couldn't boss I've him. Got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. Anderson. I hope you're doing all right, my friend. Oh man. I know he he's trying his best, but this is not his. But he's he's the ideal person to put on because politics isn't his thing, because he keeps he he has an idea on the real picture, you know. But I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you, but if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. He like looks back. You can't trust Cerberus. <laughs> Anderson, we be bros. <laughs> Let's see. Something I can do for hey, you, hey, Shepard. Oh no, okay. I better go. My door is always open. Thank you, Chef and Red Anderson. That means more than you know, man. It really does. It's, it's just good to know that I have somebody who's on my side here. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Cape Saren's Town, Cairo, Warsaw. <sighs> there's more, there's more. Can't quite remember them off the top of my head. Okay, we want to get while we're here. We want to get the oh, the couplings might actually no, the couplings aren't Omega. What else will do one? Was be one. Um, come on, do it, do the thing. Uh oh, that was a oh, okay. Save Joker. Oh, that's the prologue. All right then. Oh, by the, um, okay. So I don't know if I actually have um the other DLC companion, the mercenary. Um, I'm not. He might be in the second wave, but I was looking on the DLC and I have everything I can get that's not a multiplayer pack. I don't have the second appearance pack, um, which I might get just for one person, but, um, but I didn't see anything. I saw Kasumi, and it was, like, checkmarked, but I didn't see anything about the mercenary, but I thought he was, like, automatic somehow. Some, I don't know, maybe he'll come up later. We'll have to see. I'll keep an eye. When we get the second round of dossiers, I'll keep an eye out for him. But... Okay. Ask about fish. Oh, okay. Uh, nope. Oh, Sarah's Ice Brandy. Alright, then I know where we should go, I think. It's lame that you can't just walk out of his office. I, I don't, I don't really like that. Let's, um... I actually kind of want to bring... Kasumi and Miranda. Oh, right. Uh, okay. Oh, well. And Shadow Strike is rad, but we'll get. Ooh, should we save our points? Hmm. Alright, let's see. Okay, let's Shadow Strike. Cloak and a sneak behind a target, deliver devastating blow. Cloak and a blah, blah, blah. So, damage 300, incapacitates for 5 seconds. 350, incapacitates for 6 seconds. Whoa. Okay. Probably do the deadly shadow strike. Because I use it on all kinds of targets. So it might not necessarily kill the person. Kill the person we're targeting. But. Hmm. And then I'd probably increase her tech abilities. Further reducing the recharge time. I used to just do straight up weapon damage all the time, but since I played an engineer in Mass Effect 3, I've realized, and, and even a little bit with the Vanguard 2, I've realized how important the tech powers are. So, I'll probably get that one next. And I haven't gotten any upgrades on anything, so we need to go, the next thing we need to do is go get the doctor. The doctor is yeah. I don't remember if that's his nickname or not. 
Uh, where is... Uh, is there? Let's try level 28. I thought I got the ice brandy at a medical thing, but maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, look at that. It's like showing us where we're shuttling to. On the citadel. Whoa, green! Whoa! Look at that greenery. Look at that greenery. It looks like Ilos. This whole area kind of looks like Ilos. Look at that orange car. Look at these cars. The color. Oh, my. Oh, man. Look at my face. I actually really like these scars. I kind of wish you could keep them. I know if you play on the PC, you can get a mod where you keep the scars. Oh, shoot! You! 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 Should we... Hang on. Let's, uh, let's save. Um... Well, we can do save, I guess. And we'll talk to her and The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Yeah, you're not surprised I'm alive either! Kalisa been seen in El Jelani, Westerlin News. Haven't I met you before? No, yeah, I don't like you. I remember. Okay. <laughs> okay, not just me I from other games. I interviewed you two years ago when you first came to <laughs> I'm like, mm -mm, girlfriend. Very well on camera. Yeah, I totally trashed you. you. A minute? Uh... She didn't make me look bad. I looked good. You spent the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, your news again. I just want to give your story its due. Reporters are supposed to report the truth, not try to twist the story. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Kasumi Admiral moved out of the way. to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. Whew, ah, that trigger. What sucks for me is that I always, I want to get the right trigger, but the left trigger is the Paragon options. And so I'm like, eh. like I see it come up and it's like. Eh. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew of around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. If you're but talking straight numbers. The human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Mm. Shen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid, and yes, You're dang I remember right. them all. You're dang Everyone right. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Yeah! Ta-da! Commander <laughs> Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Battle Take of the Citadel. That's it. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own ship. <laughs> you should know better than to talk to me, lady. You should know better. Oh, hey, yeah. Have you tried it's the game Galaxy guy? <laughs> uh, I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. But it's really I fun. It has 11 billion players now. <laughs> so fun. What's the. Oh, this is the. Oh, hey. Let's just check and see what you've got. All right. Um, I think I did get this once upon a time. I could get the submachine machine gun game. I think I liked this one too. Increases the health. I have a lot of money. Yeah, sure. I won't worry too much about that yet. Um, I could. I'll. I'll talk to you though. I know. What I, can I do for you? If I was gonna do the, I. Fine. I'm a cheapskate. Your expeditions might be a little tame. <laughs> oh, Shepard! Tame. A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? I am Shepard. Well, my name's Shepard, and I the Shepherd, <laughs> the one that put down Saren Arterius. <laughs> Oh, you do know me. Oh. <laughs> By the spirits. Shepherd, Look at his face. In my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Oh, I Shady suppose. Cat. 
Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. Nope, no other gun shop. Just, uh, you know. Oh my gosh, wow, he took off a lot. 10,000 credits. Jeez. I'm gonna be so Satan like by the end of this. Oh my gosh. I already have. How much How much Paragon do I have? Do I. Uh, oh, it's, in, it's gonna be in the squad. Oh, okay, good. So it's not like I'm starting out with the hugely overpowered Paragon. Okay, good. That's good. I'm pretty sure that each time you go up one of the. Uh, like one of the bars, I'm like pointing at it on my screen. Can you, you see what I'm pointing? Um, no. Every time you go up one of the bars, you get like more paragon options, which is why I'm 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 a little hesitant in the beginning to start some conversations like with uh, Kalisa or not Kal Kalisi. No, I don't actually watch Game of Thrones. I just see all the memes. Uh, but yeah, no, the Kalisa Al Bijilani Al Jilani. I wasn't sure if I had enough to do the uh, Paragon option for her, so I saved it. Just in case. Where are we going? I want to find some Ceres Ice Brandy. Where do I find that? Where's the club? Oh, maybe I buy it at the club! There's always a club. I don't know what it's called in this one, but there's always a club. Oh, let's check the rapid transit. It's over here, right? Maybe? Oh, it's up here. Do you think we could get into the Presidium? Oh my gosh. Man, don't you worry, man. I will. You forget the I will. I will find you a, a fish or die trying, man. Uh. Oh. I just didn't see it. Okay. So we don't, um, there's no, like, elevators in this one, I don't think, on the Citadel. Um, also it says, create your squad by picking a mix of biotic tech and combat powers. I, what I really liked in Mass Effect 1 was it showed you the comp, the composition of your squad. Uh, like, when you were picking them, you could see, like, oh, I've got this much kind of a soldier. It wasn't, like, a precise number, but it was, like, you know, nice to know, like, how your team balanced out. But do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits for a new game. Yeah, GameStop. Give us your sixty dollar game and we'll give you two dollars. Here we go. Here we go. Oh Brandy, alright, cool. Yeah, give me some it's so loud. Will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? Sir Briggs. Want to know what's going on? Check Man, why? Why? You always ask me that. <laughs> for now. Because we watch too many spy vids. You know you <laughs> I don't know why humans ask me that all the time. Because, <sighs> man, video games have raised us. Video games and fantasy stories have told us that we can ask bartenders and innkeepers for news and we'll get cool stuff. I can do for you? He's the Presidium Groundskeeper, which you wouldn't know off the top of your head, I don't think, but... I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Unless he's wearing a uniform. In the legs. I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind, where's the rest? <laughs> I love his design. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wolves. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is Delea Sonesy's gift shop. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff tourists throw garbage in. Yeah. No, they purify it first. This Some is true. Some or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. This guy. But no. But no. The universe loves diversity. But no. The universe loves diversity. I love this game. <laughs> no, I bet you he does. He probably sits in the grounds, you know, and like has discussions, like philosophical discussions with his like fellow groundskeepers, you know? Where is that gift shop? Oh, I already know. The market downstairs from the bar. The 
Himalaya sells aquarium. Oh, fish, fish are, the are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Oh, thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the <laughs> flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nice. Across from the conduit. People just say it casually. I think there's a dance floor over there, which we will avoid. Oh, wait. Oh, we can talk to Miranda? Wait, where? Oh. Looking for a little R&R, &R, Shepard? It's a nice enough place. A lot nicer than Cora's den, anyway. I wasn't sorry to hear they never reopened. Oh! Yeah, it was kind of a scroungy place. This is a pretty nice place. It's not like a stripper bar, but I like that. Like, it's just a fun club, you know? It's kind of what people were wanting. It's like, it's a little bit tamer than Cora's Den. Of course, uh, vor Vortex or whatever it was called. <sighs> what was it? Flux. Um, that was a pretty sweet place. Not strippers, just a dance club. There was some gambling upstairs. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The oh, Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. Like real time strategy stuff. Where's the uh where's the rapid transit? This place is it's quite pretty. I do like I feel it feels very constrained in Mass Effect 2, the Citadel does. But at the same time I do like it feels it doesn't just feel like smaller and I think it feels smaller because we can rapid transit everywhere and even like even though it would take me literally like a minute longer to walk up to this floor oh yeah this guy he's a good one this recruits is a 20 kilo ferris slug feel the weight every five seconds the main gun of an Everest they look like blue suns accelerates one to 1.3 percent of light speed it impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton this guy is good that is three times he the is totally a gunnery chief dropped on hiroshima back on earth that means you see that? Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest <laughs> of a bitch in space. Yes, now, you gotta say that. Serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight. <laughs> I can't you, you ignorant jackasses, know that space is They're empty. Like, Science, Once bitch. <laughs> it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship. Or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, yeah. you are ruining someone's day somewhere and sometime. <laughs> check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, uh -oh. we do not eyeball it. Yeah. <laughs> eyeball it. Destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. <laughs> Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> this guy is the best. I actually love to stop and listen to him every time. Is at 20 kilos okay, it was his shirt. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the <sighs> Let's go back in. Hey, hey, okay. He is uh, Sir Isaac Newton. <laughs> Is the deadliest son of a gun in space. I love that. It really is. It's like Sorry use for the inconvenience, man. science. We use science and we ruin somebody's day. I love it. I love it. Hey Bailey, anything new? Yes. Uh, I think that's all. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Thanks, Bailey. I like you, man. You're a good man. I'm trying to find the Krogans. I think these are the only two Krogan that I that I see on the Citadel, actually. I'm uh, thinking about it. Like here. Lie! I have a Presidium fish. Want? Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium <laughs> would be like screwing. No, I I don't think so. Ugh. Sorry, you're so squished. <laughs> Are you supposed to get a decent grip? <laughs> I love it. That's oh, so funny. Sorry, Bucko. Let me tell you. To I'm gonna pop your dreams. You said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. I love it. Thanks for telling me. 
It's all he's talked about all damn day. You guys are just staring into each other's eyes. Oh, okay, cool. I got stuff from that. Um. No, that's funny. I like that he's like, ah, oh, I never understand aliens. Like, it's just little, but I do feel like this game isn't just like, humans rock, or, you know, something. It's like, we are all aliens. It's really funny how in, in like, books and movies sometimes, it's like, even the aliens will refer to humans as humans and everything else as alien, but we refer to everything except ourselves as aliens. But we're aliens too, technically. Like, if you look at it that way, like, you know... So, it's funny, I think. You're wearing Garrus' armor, take it off! I won't allow such blasphemy. So are you! Alright. Should we head out? Where are we going? We're going to back to the Normandy. That was fast. Well, we didn't have to, like, leave, you know what I mean? Could have just sat there on the ship in the dock and I could go back. I remember seeing a review for Mass Effect 2 once and it said, you know, he's like, you know, I know it's like everybody really didn't like the Mako, the car sections down on the planets and and all that. He's like, but, it, you know, he's like, and he's like, and I didn't either. He's like, I complained about the, the, the driving ability of the Mako or whatever. He's like, but at least it made the world feel, the universe feel bigger, you know? And, like, I feel like they kind of overcompensated by, like, giving you almost no plan, you know, no extra side questy planet side missions uh, by, like, taking away, like, the walk time Cause like you had to kind of walk a lot on the citadel. You couldn't just pop up exactly where you wanted to in Mass Effect One. Like you could still rapid transit, but there weren't as many rapid transits. Uh, maybe it just feels like it feels like it was just bigger. Like it felt more open. Like the spaces you could walk into were more open looking, and you could you had access to the back hallways and stuff. You know, so I do I do miss that. I did like that a lot. Um, I guess I will end it here. It's getting a pretty, pretty good length. Um, when we get back, we will, um, oh, not codex. Uh, we will deliver the Ceres Ice Brandy and the special ingredients, and then we will head out to Omega to pick up the doctor, professor, and the archangel, because the archangel is also on Omega. So, anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm having a good time playing. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.